Hello, and we're going to do a few episodes on tapering. Uh, tapering is an advanced concept for a Minecraft like most of the old Minecrafts like don't have any tapering. But tapering really gives us a lot of, of good leverage to use in our world for uh, making it feel lifelike and for allowing more advanced crafting. So we're going to go ahead and include tapering now uh, over the next two or three episodes and use it to do some cool stuff. Tapering is when you make the shape of the block uh, taper, as you might expect. And uh, the rules are that it doesn't taper if it's attached to another block, and it can taper at different rates at the top and the bottom. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop on over to our code. Previously we had been using this, and I'm sure all of you remember how much fun I had with this, um, because I am incompetent with my left and my right. So, unfortunately, all of that was wasted effort because now we need to do the whole thing again, um, but hopefully sucking less. <laughs> so I think one of the problems I had was that I wasn't making a clear um, top bottom distinction when I first did this. So that's why I'm naming these after their top coordinates. So left right uh, doesn't actually imply left and right. It means left and right as facing from the direct from the orthogonal direction. So uh, they're not always going to be actually x minus and x plus. So to do this we simply do the exact same thing we did before uh, down here. In fact to the point where I'm going to go ahead and copy this and bring it up and modify it. Um, so that I don't forget what's going on. Don't need these though. Mostly I just want the UV offset stuff. Oh, and there's no block attached, so... Alright, and then we do that part there. So this is no longer going to have any meaning. We'll just comment it out for now. Why is that? Oh. Feeling kind of stupid. All right. So hopefully that will work, and what we're going to do up here in Drawbrick is we're actually going to, uh, instead of drawing each face the way we were before, pre previously we were assuming that everything was going to be a unit brick, a one by one by one exact cube. That's no longer the case, so we need to go ahead and define the eight points around the cube, and we're going to do that like this. And that's our eight cubes, and now we fill them. Like so. And uh, we actually can go ahead and um, base the rest of them off of corner zero, 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 so we can get a very clear idea. Corners one, zero, zero is corners zero, zero, zero plus vector three dot right, because that's the piece here, see? That's x, so that's right. See? And corners... Uh, we're kind of counting from the front here instead of from the back, which is bad bad policy. Vector 3 dot up. And then if we want to do both at the same time, it's vector 3 dot right plus vector 3 dot up. And then we can copy these three and add one more for the Z. Alright, so do you see what we've done? It should be fairly straightforward. And uh, then we do, we do what we did before, exactly the same way that we did before, where we did this is transparent crap. I'm sure you remember that. because all of you have excellent memories for something that happened a week and a half ago, right?
Um, oh yeah, so if it is transparent, we need to draw that. And that would be, we started for some reason at x minus 1. We should probably start at the top instead. Uh, so we go ahead and draw the face, and we draw the face with the corners that would make sense for y, for y minus 1, which would be the y0. So we're looking down at our brick. like so. Now I'd like to just do it like this, but in fact that is backwards. Uh, that will end up with the brick facing the exact same way. So we actually have to go ahead and invert these. So I'll put the Z's first, like so. And that will hopefully give us a block facing the opposite direction, although we may have to uh, uh, double check that. So let me go ahead and double check that now. We've got some, uh, some, some obvious errors here. Let's see what other errors have you got. Alright, so let's go ahead and check this out. Now we should have the tops and the bottoms if we are supremely lucky, and we are not. But it looks cool. Interesting. Alright, it looks like uh, we actually, first off, both of them are upside down. They're both backwards. And second off, we have some problems with it defaulting to chunk position. So I'll go ahead and look into that. Alright, so I have a sneaking suspicion what the problem is with those. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and look into it, but I figured I would show you the way that I actually do this. So when I'm going to debug something like this, I turn off the terrain script so that no terrain gets generated, and then I just add a chunk to the scene at 000. zero, zero. Uh, that's blocks. I don't want the block, I want the chunk. There we are. At zero, zero, 000. So when I hit play, might as well pause it first, that chunk will initialize but we won't get any of the uh, other chunks with it. Um, oh, I have to... Hold on. Since that actually no longer works due to the way we're doing this, I went ahead and I added a new boolean called turn myself off in, in, into our terrain. And if that happens, it just turns itself off after it initializes. And the reason it has to initialize is because we've got these here. Uh, and otherwise we don't have those values in the game. But that means that since I allow it to create a fab, I don't need that fab to be in. I can just go ahead and go into the terrain, turn the terrain on, but click turn myself off and hit play. And then when I zoom out, like so, you can see we've got just one chunk, which is much easier to debug with than having 10 million chunks. And in fact, it actually has revealed what the error is, as I expected. The problem is... Oh, no, wait, there it is. There, we are still having the error. I thought it was going to be an error between two chunks, um, but it's not. And of course, now that I think about it, that doesn't make nearly as much sense. So I'll figure out why, some, why these are all calling against zero. Yeah, so kudos to those, to those of you who might have noticed it. Uh, the problem is that... Um, I have this in the wrong spot. So I was screwing it up. Uh, I was counting incorrectly in binary, which doesn't surprise me at all. Small errors are my forte. Let's go ahead and see whether that fixed it. Oh, I've got this debug still on. I don't need that anymore. Uh, it slows everything way the hell down. All right, so if we pause and we take a look, you can see that now it works. We've got our tops where our tops should be, and we've got our bottoms where our bottoms should be. Um, now, we don't have the tops showing off the correct top UV. We might as well go ahead and fix that now that we know what these tops are going to be. Um, so we'll go ahead here and we'll say if y0 left dot y equals y1 left dot y, then it's either the top or the bottom, and we use this. 
Otherwise, we use that. See? Simple enough. I don't think we're going to manage to get to the actual tapering today because it's going to take me a whole episode just to reconstruct this part as much as I would like to pretend otherwise. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the script back on in full. Hit play. Just make sure that we've got everything functioning as expected. There we go. Yep, everything works. So now we have to go ahead and do the other two side, the other two, the, the other set of faces. So this is our left face. So we draw face, and here we have the guidelines of the name here. So we've got y zero left for our face to the left would actually be to the back. So corners zero zero one comma oh, did it, that's interesting it shouldn't be considering that like eight arguments it was marching forward through the arguments with no sense uh, that's a that's a bug in mono we're still on the second argument here corners zero zero uh, zero corners one zero one and corners one zero zero lock so now we're going to go ahead and check and see that that's correct. And if it isn't, we will fix it. So we do have some sort of vertical blocks, but as you can see, they're not correct. Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. And the reason they're not connect correct should be obvious. Uh, I went for x equals 1 here instead of y equals 1. So remember, uh, y1, these are, these are the y plus coordinates. These are the y minus coordinates. They should be identical except for the y portion. Alright, so we do have an x wall happening here, but it's not on the right side. Uh, or, I don't think it is. Oh, I guess it is. That is, in fact, correct my camera is the opposite direction of what I thought it was. That's okay. I can live with that. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and do the other y. And since this is x plus 1, we have to do these, like this. But we already know that our x and our, our we know that these are backwards because we're facing the opposite direction. So whereas before we were 1, 0, 1, 0 on the z side, we're going to be 0, 1, 0, 1 on the z side and that'll flip it around. Hit play, and now we'll go and see whether both of our x faces are correct. So, we've got x face here, and we've got x face here, and that looks pretty correct to me. If you're wondering why there's large strips um, between the blocks, that's because right now anything that's not on the block is considered transparent, so it doesn't take into account uh, that the actual block on the neighboring chunk might be a solid block. It doesn't, it doesn't care. Now for Z, I'm going to go ahead and type it because otherwise I will uh, screw something up, I'm sure. So this one should be the one towards us, meaning that the left is actually the left and the right is actually the right. All right, let's go ahead and see whether that ooh, see whether that takes. That looks awfully right to me. You know, this might actually well, actually, that looks like the x-axis to me. Okay, so I got it. Did I get it backwards? I got. I think I got it backwards here. Yeah, I got it backwards. I can deal with that. All I have to do is flip them around. There's the diagram again, in case you forgot. I think this is because I've got my forward and my backwards backwards, as you might remember from the very first episode. That looks right. Let's double check. Yeah, that's right. Is it? Is it offset? Nope. Is it? Oh. It's offset. Is 
set offset x. It's offset z. It's plus one z over what it should be. Which means that this has to be one here, because I've got my front and my back reversed. I think that's it. Yeah, that was it. So I do have my. I, I thought that back was back, but it's actually front, just to be as confusing as possible. Um, so that's okay, though. Uh, that's the source of my off by one bug, and I just don't care enough to fix it. As before, we have to flip these around. And hopefully that will have reconstructed all of the blocks currently Oh, I definitely screwed that up. Look at that. We got a whole bunch of stuff going the wrong way. Um, so I screwed up this face, uh, and I'm not exactly sure how, but it's really weird looking, isn't it? Um, I must have passed something out of order. Left, right, oh! Yeah, yeah, that should be it. I passed it a Y coordinate. Now, is it just now plain old backwards? Yeah, it's just now plain old backwards. Uh, all right, all right, I can take uh, backwards. I don't understand why this is backwards, though. It doesn't make any sense. All right, well, now we have something backwards, but I don't know whether it's the same Z block or not. Let me go ahead and, and do some debugging, and I'll be right back. We're definitely not going to get to the actual tapering today. I'm sorry, guys. A der, der. Uh, so how many of you caught that? All of you? Good. You get a gold star if you caught that. Otherwise, you're in the same spot as me. All right, so do we have all four of our faces? We do, in fact, have all four faces. Huzzah! But, as I mentioned, that took too much time. And while it was significantly easier than it was the very first time, uh, that doesn't change the fact that it took too long for me to now do tapering in the same episode. So, I will see you next episode. Maybe I'll release two of them at once or something.